What's up, guys? Keon here. I'm going to quickly show you guys a think or swim desktop tutorial. Seems like a lot of people are signing up for think or swim, which I do believe is one of the best platforms out there. I rarely have any problems with it. So let's just get started. Uh, in this tab, monitor tab, obviously, this shows your activities and positions. You were on a virtual account. So I'm going to show you what happens when you buy or sell a position so when we click trade right this is the options chain okay so for example we're going to be using apple let's say we want to buy a september 16th 170 call okay so we're going to find september 16th now the calls are on the left side the puts are on the right side the strikes are in the middle. I personally like just to have all the strikes. I know it might seem a little annoying to show every single one of them, but that's just personal preference. You can always change it to 14, 12, 10, 8, so on and so forth. So if we're, we're gonna buy the 170 call. So we're gonna look for the 170. We found it. Remember the calls are on the left side, the puts are on the right side. We can easily do here is you can right click buy single this should pop up right so we want to make sure we're buying it plus however many contracts you would like to buy okay so for example there's 10 right here let's say we want to buy five just have to click the minus button and there's five auto is fine apple september 16th 170 call now again you know if the mid and the bid and ask is very tight you can pay market you know it's not a big deal or you can pay limit if the spreads are wide. Now, in this case, if the spreads are very thin, I'm just gonna click market. And all I'm gonna do is click confirm and send. This will show how much the trade is gonna cost, your buying power for options and stock, and the cost of how much it's gonna be for the trade. And you're gonna click send, right? Now it's gonna show here that you bought plus five Apple 170 calls for September 16th. So it also shows down here your PL open, PL day, your position, right? So you can do two ways. You can right click here, create closing order, sell. Okay. You can right click here on position, sell. You can also go to your monitor tab, right click here, create closing order, and sell. Now, what I like to do when I set stops, Right, I just like to set a regular stop. So what I'm going to do is if I paid you know 40 cents for contract, I'm willing to risk 50%. I'm going to right click, create closing order, sell negative five. Right. I'm going to change the limit to a stop. And let's say I bought it at 40, I have 50% stop. I'm going to change this to 0.2. Okay. I'm going to confirm and send. So now I have a stop in place at point two. Okay, so it's very straightforward. Let's say I want to go out of the trade. I want to make sure I cancel this stop, right? I, want, I don't want that stop. I'm going to create a closing order, sell negative five, whatever the price is, confirm and send, and send. It's all done. Okay. Now, someone asked if you can change. The time zone, yes, you can. All you gotta do is click right here. Obviously, it's gonna be different because it's paper trade, but you click above here, and then I'm on Eastern, uh, East Coast time, so mine shows Eastern, but wherever you are, it's gonna show the time frame that you wanna be. Now, analyze. This is a great uh, resource to have. You can literally go on ADP employment, education, income distribution. There's a lot of economic data that you can pull out of here. Probability analysis, you can type the contract that you're in. And how do you do that? You can actually go and copy your contract. Copy with this 170 call. You can analyze the probability of this trade, of whether it can go in the, in the money, out the money, etc. You can also chart your contract. You just copy that contract that you have. You can actually chart it, right? If we go back again, there's economic data, the fundamentals, as we're on 
Super trade stuff's not going to really work. Earnings, all of that. Scan, if you have any scanners that you would like to add, you can add it here. Obviously, on demand, you can't, can't do that, which is pretty annoying. That's okay. Market watch, any stocks on your watch list that you have. Charts. So let's just go back to the Apple chart. This is a very basic chart, right? Now let's say you want to add some studies, okay? We're going to click studies right here. We're going to do edit studies, and let's say we want RSI. We're just going to type in RSI, add selected, apply, OK, and the RSI will pop up down here. So again, for studies, you just click studies. You can search whatever study that you would like to have. Now, when you want to draw support and resistance lines, now I'm on desktop, obviously, so I'm going to click the middle of my mouse button, right? So now you can see that I can draw a trend line, which is just you know me drawing lines itself. Or let's remove this. We can already have one set as far as price levels. So we can let's say this is a resistance 160.36. Double click and it's going to show the line going across the board. Right? Then you can edit properties on that line as well so you can show the price on the right you can show the price on the left um you can change the color you can change the width style of the line so well, there's that what else you can change your candles right you can change your chart type you know your candle trend high canashi line bars uh the price type last bid ask mark so you know you can just Make this how you like it, right? So another thing what I do like to like or have is you know extended time frames, right? So I don't want the chart to end right here. So what I'm gonna do is click the settings. I am going to time access or not. I'm not going to time access. Where is it? Okay, this is what happens when I do things on the fly, but okay. Um well, this is awkward. Anyway, we're gonna find it. Expansion, no, 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 no. Uh, expansion area, there you go. On time axis, I knew it was right here. I just do 100 bars to the right, just to have some free space. Um, but yeah, that's about it on that part. That's basically it. I mean, again, the most important thing is where to know where the trade tab is, right? So if we do something quick, let's just say, you know, spy and type. Right, this is gonna load. We have an alert spy 405 call. Okay, we're gonna find the 405 call. It's on the left side. We find the strike. Buy single. Let's say we buy 10. Spread is thin. Confirm and send. Send. Let's say they alert a sell. All we do, right click position, sell, confirm and send, send. Done. This is the most important thing. If you don't really care about charting, if you know how to get into the option chains quickly, this is the most important thing. Now, what else you can do? You can change the layout, right? So if I click on these, this options chain, for me, it's showing last price, net change, open interest, volume, bid, and ask. Now, if you don't care about any of those, you can take them all, take them all off, right? You can also customize it. You, you can add whatever you want. Right, so you can look at return on capital, beta, vega, volume, probability out the money, probability in the money. So it's very customizable. Okay, so again, this is probably the most important part for the newer traders on Thinkorswim. There's all also a lot of education on Thinkorswim if you want to, you know, study up on whatever technical analysis, uh, long term investing hedging portfolios it's all here right so that is honestly about it very simple to use once you get used to it if you have any questions obviously let us know and we'll see you in the next video see you